Well, the Kansas primary is eight days away, and as we inch closer, we're taking a closer look at where the candidates stand on some of the issues. Tonight, our Capitol Bureau Chief Courtney Ryan takes a look at medical marijuana. As more states look at legalizing medical marijuana, what does the future look like in the Sunflower State? That answer depends on who's elected. Would you be supportive of that here in Kansas? No, I would not. No, I would not. Medical things, okay, medical drugs are normally approved by the FDA. The FDA right now has some of those extracts being tested right now so that you can actually hit. Here's the real dosing, here's the effectiveness. The four major Republican candidates vying for the state's highest position are split on the issue. Chris Kobach, Jeff Collier, and Ken Selzer are all opposed to medical marijuana, with Jim Barnett providing a different point of view. I think the state is ready to proceed with medical marijuana. Insurance Commissioner Ken Selzer says the real change on marijuana laws needs to come from the federal government. Federal laws need to change. They really need to change in order f to ever make that market work like it should because people who sell it are unable to put the proceeds into the banking system. All four candidates said they support a law passed in Kansas this year allowing the use of products containing the marijuana extract CBD as long as those products don't contain THC, the active ingredients in marijuana which produces the high. Salzer, Collier, and Kobach said they were against the use of recreational marijuana, something Kobach cautions legalization could open the door to. In all of the states where medical marijuana has been legalized, it ends up being abused as a, just a, a, a loophole for recreational marijuana. So until we can find a way to ensure that that doesn't happen, uh, I'll be opposed to it. Barnett said he needs to review data on the long-term impact of recreational marijuana, but said he thinks the state is only ready to legalize medical marijuana. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Courtney Ryan. And aside from the governor's race, we're also keeping in our eyes on some other big races ahead of the primary election on August 7th. Those include the Secretary of State, all 125 Kansas House seats, and a variety of local and county races. KSNT is your local election headquarters.